Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I'm going to share with you why you should avoid plastic silverware and plastic containers, plastic cups, plastic bottles, uh, anything that has to do with uh, holding food or drinks that is plastic. Uh, so plastic has a very interesting history. Uh, plastic development, uh, the actual production of plastic has changed over time, meaning the formula uh, that goes into uh, the, the chemical uh, products, if you will, the kind of chemical sources that create plastic have changed over time. And current plastic has contained several different chemicals, uh, a few that I'm going to talk about today specifically, that affect your health and well-being in ways that you don't know about. So uh, first things first, the two compounds that I'm going to talk about in plastic are phthalates, P, that's spelled P-H-A-L-T-A-L-T-E or something, phthalates, so I'll link it up below, and then BPA, which is bisphenol A. Now, what's interesting is that scientists actually discovered uh, that plastic was harmful because they had rodents, uh, mice, in a lab and they were giving them their food and their water uh, through plastic containers. So they had, you know, the plastic water bottle thing, the, the plastic container holding the food. And what they found, they were, they were uh, looking into and researching uh, these mice, they actually found uh, levels, uh, high levels of bisphenol A, which is otherwise known as BPA, in the blood of the mice. And what they found was that the, these, these mice had miscarriages as well as reproductive uh, health issues. So uh, doing further research, uh, you start to find that uh, phthalates specifically uh, hinder genitalia development and cause reproductive issues, uh, which would explain why the mice had uh, miscarriages and reproductive issues in general. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if there's any like misform uh, disformation or anything like that, but regardless, miscarriages and reproductive issues uh, were what these mice were experiencing, and they found high BPA levels in the blood. So with that being said, uh, uh, phthalates and BPA, uh, they found, you know, obviously within mice that it had a negative effect. So uh, taking a step back and if you look at BPA uh, a little bit further, uh, as far as humans are concerned, BPA, bisphenol A, mimics estrogen, estrogen in the human body. Estrogen is a female dominant hormone that obviously both men and women have. Uh, women have it in higher amounts, men have it in lower amounts. Uh, but when estrogen dominance is high, meaning there's higher levels, uh, elevated levels of estrogen in the body, uh, the, the certain things happen. So for example, women develop breasts at a younger age, and uh, men are affected in, in their testosterone levels and other hormones are affected, so their testosterone uh, may lower and their, their estrogen's higher, and they, they don't have as much like strength and power, if you will. And typically estrogen is... Uh, a more emo emotional hormone, I guess I could say. Uh, you know, typically females are uh, more in tune with their emotions. It's not a bad thing, obviously, but uh, it's just it's just good to understand. So uh, basically, if you break everything down, plastic. The majority of plastic contains BPA. Now you see some plastic that says BPA free, so you've probably seen that before. Uh, but that doesn't mean the plastic still doesn't contain phthalates and other chemicals and petroleum byproducts, because most plastic is derived from petroleum byproducts, and, and, and pretty much all of it is. I mean, there, it's hard to escape that unless it's biodegradable plastic, which is very rare and, I believe, much more pricey, so it's not going to be used nearly as often because it's increased the cost of production. So, uh, with that being said, mice were hindered and harmed in their health uh, because of the BPA and phthalates, and humans are as well. So, uh, by ingesting and, and eating and drinking foods that are contained in plastic, so for example, plastic water bottles are probably one of the biggest things and the worst, because when you leave, when the water's in that plastic water bottle, it sits in there and then the BPA uh, leaks into the water, and then uh, what's worse is people bring those water bottles outside, they leave them in their, their car, which gets really hot in the summertime, they leave them in the sun, and that BPA and other chemicals leach into that water even more, and you're just drinking, you know, those petroleum petroleum byproducts, BPA, and other chemicals. I mean, it's just not healthy at all. So, uh, same with uh, plastic plasticware, plastic silverware. Uh, eating food with plasticware, you you have digestive enzymes and or excuse me, uh, enzymes in your mouth uh, and, and acids and things that that are going to uh, you're going to start to basically ingest uh, those chemicals every time you take a bite, and you know letting your saliva sit on that plastic wear and, and everything, you're, you're just ingesting this over time. So I would avoid water bottles, I would avoid plastic wear, uh, even plastic plates and cups and things like that. Cooking 
anything plastic, plastic spatula, plastic, you know, uh, anything, anything plastic. Because whenever heat's involved too, you have to remember, heat uh, breaks things down. I mean, eventually, to the point of fire, it's going to burn it and melt it and disintegrate it. But even lower levels of heat are going to burn and break down those chemicals and then that gets into your food. How many times have you burned a spatula or, you know, had a plastic some device in the kitchen and you burnt it or left it on the stove or whatever and then you see what happens. Just imagine over time, when you're cooking with plasticware, using any type of, or not cooking with plasticware, but cooking with plastic kitchen utensils, that breaking down over time and getting into your food. So it's important to understand. So uh, I highly recommend avoiding plastic completely in terms of anything you eat, drink, or cook with in the kitchen. It's extremely, uh, it's a great, it's really good, it's important, very important to understand that uh, for your health and well-being because when your body ingests, uh, ingests phthalates and BPA, uh, these chemicals are something that really influence your hormones, your reproductive hormones specifically, and just your hormones in general, which hormones are very difficult to get back on track once they're kind of yo-yoing up and down and going crazy. So uh, that's why I would recommend avoiding plastic at all costs. I have an article below that shares more history on plastic and why you should avoid it. It's called The Dirty History of Plastic. So check out the article right below this video. Uh, but also, beyond health reasons, and health is a great reason to avoid plastic, I highly recommend avoiding plastic as well because plastic gets in landfills and it gets in the ocean. Now, when plastic gets in landfills, uh, it does break down over time, which takes a while, but uh, that means those chemicals, those petroleum byproducts and chemicals, uh, break down and when it rains, uh, you know, the acidity of the rain and the soil, uh, that just spreads and gets into our water supply essentially, uh, in rivers, lakes, streams, and then obviously into our drinking water eventually. Uh, so in, in terms of landfills, you don't want plastic in landfills, and then beyond that, uh, plastic, there's actually in the ocean the size of Texas, a, uh, a plastic I don't even know, it's called like a plastic reef or something, I don't know, someone help me uh, that, that knows this watching the video, but it's basically the, the diameter, the, the uh, square mileage, the size of Texas in the ocean, like a huge, uh, all this plastic that just kind of got stuck together and it's this huge mass of plastic. And the problem with plastic in the ocean is that fish eat the plastic because they mistake it for smaller fish or, you know, whatever. These fish then eat the plastic and their bodies, you know, really don't break it down that well at all, unfortunately. And, you know, we eat fish and then we're actually eating plastic uh, that are, that these fish have eaten because we're eating the fish. So it's crazy, it's ridiculous, and then that's, you know, the plastic getting in your body that way is, I mean, that's just, you know, you wouldn't even know it because this plastic kind of, the fish may have broke it down a little bit by the time it died and then you're just eating fish and then you're just eating fish, but there's literally plastic in that fish, which is just insane. Uh, beyond that, uh, it's plastic is just bad for your health and bad for the environment. I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no way around that really. Like I said, biodegradable plastic is amazing, but a lot of people, a lot of companies really don't use that because it's so pricey. Uh, and beyond that too, there's, there's um, something called microbeads and health and beauty products, specifically really beauty products like uh, f uh, facial type uh, cr creams, or not creams, more more exfoliants, uh, where they're, they're actually microbeads, they're little plastic beads, uh, and they put them in there so that you feel like you're exfoliating your face and your skin, but it's really just literally just rubbing your face with plastic, and I guess, quote unquote, that's exfoliating, but it's not like exfoliating with a clay or a mud mask or something like that. So uh, avoid products that contain plastic beads as well, because when you use those, it goes in the drain, it goes in the sink, it goes down the... The, the bathtub or the drain, and that gets in the water supply, and then that ends up in all of our, you know, everyone's drinking water. So uh, I avoid recommending, I recommend avoiding plastic at all costs uh, in your kitchen and your cooking, especially because that gets, you know, that's right into your health. And then recycle plastic if you can. Uh, it's much better for the environment. Find a local recycling center and uh, just avoid plastic at all costs. So. That's my advice, especially when it comes to health and wellness, avoid plastic. I'll link up more information below. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you so much for living healthy, wild, and free. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and share this video if you learned something from it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.